Hi everyone, I wanted to introduce you to the concept of sound desensitisation today uh, which involves exposing your dog to um, a, a particular noise in a controlled way. Common noise phobias in dogs are things like thunderstorms, fireworks, construction noises, hoovers or even hairdryers. One of my dogs is sensitive to fireworks and this year I've been doing some sound desensitisation training with her. I wanted to share with you some really useful information I found um, on a website called Zilkeen. I'll post the details of Zilkeen's website in the comments below. But it contains an ingredient that derives from casein, which is a milk protein that is produced by lactating mums when breastfeeding. Casein is well known to promote relaxation in newborns after breastfeeding. I'm trialling it this year in conjunction with my sound desensitisation training. So here my dogs are nice and relaxed and I'm using a recording of the component noises of fireworks. My volume is on low and even though the component noises sound like fireworks, it's not actually affecting their behaviour. I played this recording over and over again, gradually increasing my volume. I repeated this exercise over and over and over again. And on this video you can see that one of my dogs has lifted its head and looks a bit concerned about the noise. However, I stayed calm and allowed her to take in the training. She then soon tucked her head under and completely ignored the noise. So, after a long period of time doing the component noises of the fireworks, I then moved on to the complete firework sound on a low volume. This kind of training should start weeks or months before fireworks night. It takes time and about five minutes, two or three times a day is ideal. You don't want to push your dog too fast. You can see in this next clip that a particular noise of a complete firework sets one of my dogs off. I know that the high pitched ones are the ones that affect my dog the most. As soon as she got off the bed I switched the sound off but didn't move or react myself. I waited till the next day to resume training, but made sure the volume was really low and used the component firework noises again. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I'll post the link to all the recordings of the fireworks below. There is also a complete firework display recording, but my dogs aren't ready for that yet. This video is a snapshot of what sound desensitisation is about. It does take time, so preparation is key. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you've got any questions about noise phobias or sound desensitisation, don't hesitate to contact me and I'd be happy to help. Bye for now.